hey, I've got another challenge lock here. This one is Space Nut, Space Nut 1, number 1. It's called Keyway, and going to tension this. I'm going to try and reach through the camera stands and try and pick it this way. Uh, it's not a very comfortable way to pick it, but at least the camera can can sort of see what, what I'm doing. So I'm just um, dragging this pick. This is the pick that um, I got off Rat Yoke, and it's a ebony handle, and it's it's quite nice. So I'm just dragging across and see what I can feel. Um, Sometimes dragging, dragging it across can can pick up um, low hanging fruit. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to tighten this um, a little bit more, or if I um. Not sure if I should do that or if I should get that uh, the front of it tightened, tightened a bit like that. Maybe I'll see how that goes. Well, that seems more secure. When I'm picking challenge locks like this, it takes me a while. So it makes me think I should try and think up some uh, some good jokes while I'm while I'm picking. I'm picking some pins at the back. I'm getting some clicks. Can't tell whether that one's set or not. multiple clicks um, like uh, like there there must be threaded pins or something in there I'm not very good with thre threaded spins I'm more used to spools okay the um, the the tension I turned a little bit which is good. Nothing at the front is binding yet. Still picking on the back. Try and lift this one. It's not lifting. Uh, maybe it is set. I, I I was thinking perhaps it wasn't. Okay, 
Um, I might try and see if the it might require a higher, um, a steeper hook. I need to try this one. So, see, see what happens. So this one's not a custom pick, so it's not as comfortable to hold. Yeah, I forced that pin up that I was trying to with the uh, ratch yoke and uh, I, I just may have overset everything you see so uh, let's have a little feel let's see if I overset it um, Well, you may have overset something. Maybe I should let that tension off a little bit. Oh, and now it's gone going back into that um, deep false set something's binding at the front okay got that Can't press too hard with this. This is only 19 thou thick, so when I'm when I'm trying to lift a pin, I'm releasing that tension so I don't break the pick. Ah, my phone's about to run out of battery. Um, I'll just see if I can plug it in. I will. Get this rubber band around here, maybe to hold it while I'm plugging it in. Ah, that's better. My lovely wife helped me. Ah, uh, okay. Let's carry on. That was a close one. Um. Now yeah, this is trying to look for a pin that needs setting. I really respect these good pickers that can just find a pin and go, yep, that's it. And next pin, no, that needs that needs uh, lifting. I'm uh, with me it's more like, now is that springy, or is that, is that solid? Because you know, sometimes you get pins that are sort of a little bit halfway between the two. Then I try and pick on one, see if it will lift. Yep, too much tension. to go to my um, deeper hook and this one this one says it's um, 0.5 millimeters don't know what that is in thou Let's 
Exit. This one, this one. Maybe this one. Well, I got it, I hope. See now is that left need lifting some more. Don't know. I think there's something in the back. Uh, now did I overset something? Right at the back. Um, now I'm picking some lots of pins, but I think it's because I overset something. I'm, I'm just able to click them all up, sort of thing. It's a sign of of a, a big overset. I'm just making things worse. Uh, and this is slipping. So, what can I do to drop some of those pins, release the tension a little bit. I also don't like how that tensioner looks as though it might be slipping out. Okay. Now. Let's have a feel what's going on first. So either I've overset something or, um, or there's nothing to set. Uh, it's ah, I dropped a um. A pin and I got more of a false set back, so that's the right thing to do. Pin binding at the front. 
into the rotation. Okay, got that. And I'm even in a bigger false set now, so it's nice. Counter rotation. <laughs> I got it, but I lost my false set, so I don't like that. So one at the front need uh, lifting again. I don't think so. Scraping the pins to see if it'll drop into a full set. Don't like it. I'm going to let off some tension again. Yeah, I've let off complete tension and no pins are dropping. Uh, some manual rotation. Okay, I felt something. Heard, heard something, I mean. Um, still haven't got my full set. I lifted lots of pins again, and I need to let off uh, tension. Jeez, fell right out. And okay, bit of a false set. I want a better one. Lost, I lost a little bit of false set again lifting that back pin. So Ah, oh, okay. Pin uh, right at right the front. It might have been pin two. Okay, now well, let's see. Pin one. Oh, and we're open. Okay. Good. <sighs> Took a while. Oops, you can see that turns. Don't want to turn it too much. It said um, should use a should use a shim and okay. Um, I thought I was going to be prepared, but I realise. Use my C clip removal tool. So, if I'm going to try and keep that open, if I'm going to try and do that this without the key. Jeez. Don't know, don't know. It's got 
Indian tears. Nearly got it off, okay. And putting tray. Let's try this old shim. And follower. Okay, so should be okay like that. Is my um, follower going to be too tight? can see straight away got um, some threading threading on, threading on the chamber there nothing there some uh, milling there nothing there some milling there nothing there um, yeah yeah and in, in America it's called milling and in the UK they call it um, undercutting I think keep on keep on forgetting they call it okay okay i i oh crikey look at, look at this um like i don't know um what a torpedo pin is but um, this is an uh, maybe may, no, no, it's it's not. It's just got um, yeah, it's just got threading. Some some good deep not threading um, serrations. Some really deep serrations on that one, and this one. <laughs> really deep okay let's get the rest out so six pins This one's got no threading, no threading, but this one here, um, it's got a deep, deep gouge. And, and also it's very thin lipped at the top. Um, I can show you like this, very thin lipped. So um, yeah, it would be very easy to overset and not recover from. And this one has uh, lots of good deep threading. Okay, so six pins. So, uh, get that um, get the shim out.
Okay. Really deep, um, very, really deep, uh, not, not threading. I keep calling it threading. Keep the very deep serrations there. Um, Let's bring out. Okay, small spring. I should take care to get these out um, in the orientation. In the right orientation, so I can. Get, now that's a very interesting one. This little nozzle was sticking up. Does not want to come out. Give them some more room. Oh yeah. Okay. We have um, a little nozzle. Say that. I don't know. Very very deep, uh, steep tapering. Um, so maybe that had to be picked several times. Um, And uh, no spring is coming out. This one. Okay, it's in this direction. Wow. Wow. That's so deep. Um. <laughs> that's just about right through. It's just like, wow, that is so deep. And give me spring. Yes, we have a spring. Ah, and that went this way. Another, um, Another deeply serrated driver and and a longer spring. Different springs to to give different feedback. Well, wow, this this is um, goes around this way, but um, see how thin lipped that is. So that, that would be um, mm. and the, and the bottom is uh, thinner than the. Uh, and the top, it's like a double spool with a thinner spool down the bottom and very thin lips at the bottom. Makes it very difficult. And if this is, this is, this said um, space nut one, didn't it? Uh, num number one, number one. If that's the first challenge lock for space nut, if I'm saying his name right, saying, saying their name right, then uh, G. 
such a tough lock for their first challenge lock. Uh, okay, this one, very thin-lipped spool. Very thin-lipped. And the uh, spring. Okay, now yeah, there's uh, nothing else coming out of there. So I don't know what's in in, in that chamber, but um, any anyway, um, I can't can't immediately feel any. Any um anything done to these chambers. Okay, but on here we have lots of threading, nothing. Um some some sort of milling going on here. Nothing. And here, so this this um this is good grooves here to, to really trap in those some of those thin lips. And this key is wrapped so well. Oh, I can slide it off. Cool. Oh, I was going to say I didn't want to cut it. Ah, <laughs> oh, would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that key? Oh dear. Oh dear. That's um, that's some extreme, extreme lifting behind these low ones. Um. Oh. Wow. Well, um, Two, three, four, five, six, and yep, I'll make sure it goes back together with this uh, with this key. Um, if I've got like the, these two might be around the wrong way. Uh, No, no, sorry, this this is the front, what am I doing? This is the front of the lock. Okay, so that makes much more sense. And yeah, they look right, they look right. Okay, okay, so give you a close-up of the pins. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. I should show that the, uh, the key is right, or the pins are right for the key. Um, okay, they're all, all flush, and so that's good. And next I'll show you the key working, and I've put this back together, and the key goes in and works beautifully. Okay, that's it. Thank you.